Hi everybody, this is Phyllis Rose from the Phyllis Rose Show. Today I want to talk about something fun and delicious and something you can do when you're at home and uh, have nothing else to do and maybe want to plan a little happy hour um, by yourself or with some neighbors and you can do it via FaceTime. So this is something everybody can do and you can get on FaceTime and share it. As you can see, I didn't put any makeup on or anything because nobody's here and I'm not going out. So I'm um, keeping it real. This is it. We're going to have a good time. And this is just a little something fun I think you can do and maybe give you some suggestions on how to keep busy. And um, it's a little healthy too. I mean, look at this beautiful thing of raspberries. These are all washed. And um, hands are clean. Been washing my hands at least 20 seconds or more. Sing a little song when you wash your hands. It helps take the time away. But all you do is take um, a beautiful decanter. Um, you can get these at, you know, swap shops, flea markets, or new, and you can buy them. But they're really fun to collect, and then um, wash them and dry them very well, and then put some really fun things in them, and they're tasty. Believe me, you won't be able to stop. So, um, first thing you do is put your uh, new fresh raspberries. Um, just got these, and um, put these in your jar or container. And um, make sure you get a container that has a hole big enough for your berries to fit in. And they'll only fit about one at a time, so you kind of, it takes a few minutes to do this. But um, as you're filling it up, the jar gets really pretty and colorful. And it's really pretty if you have a little bar, counter, place that you want to display it even. It makes a really nice display. And um, just fill it up. And this, I think, is about two or three containers that I washed and put in here in this two-cup um, container. So just however many you need to fill your, whatever size container you want to fill. And then um, about halfway. Try not to um, bruise the berries or smash them if you can help it because um, you're going to want to keep them whole and... Um, and you can also refill this again after you've drank your first batch. Um, you'll want to be able to do it one more time. You can do it maybe twice. Then they start to lose their color and um, it's not as flavorful because all the flavor, the best, the first batch is your best, best batch, of course. So we're just about done. I'm going to shake them down. Finish putting these in. We've got our container now full, set that aside, and um, we are going to pour in some Tito's vodka because it's gluten-free, raspberries gluten-free, so this is gluten-free recipe, and it's simple and easy, and then you just fill up the container, and it goes around the berries. Fill it up as far as you can. I personally love Grey Goose, and I've done this with Grey Goose, and it's fabulous. But um, Tito's is less expensive. And it's gluten-free, so it's um, a nice way to win-win for somebody who maybe can't have gluten, can have this. So this bottle is ready to marinate. So just sit it aside for three, four, five days, whatever you want. Um, the longer you marinate it, of course, the better it is. And the berries will infuse in the vodka. And then all you do is um, get you a small little glass and just pour a little sip in there and sip it whenever you want to have a little happy hour or you need a little relaxation and you want some zen time there's your answer i hope you enjoy and uh, try it and let me know what you think and uh, if you like it it's delicious and it's also um, a great way to spend time alone if you just want to have a little sip of something fun and tasty it's really tasty so 
Enjoy. Till next time. Bye.